Union Eye. Production, art, community. You to the power of I. I found this relic track on a cassette of a drum circle from my Miami days. We used to walk to the bay to drum the night away under the stars with truly nothing better to do than be outside together with no direction and our self-expression. I don't think we realized it, but somehow we knew it brought us closer. Closer to nature, closer to ourselves, and closer to each other. Drum. Its meaning summons both the thing and the doing. Eardrum, hear drum. Drums come from the earth we share. They reverberate the primal, fundamental, first importance of exchange. And our ancestors saw that exchange is communication. Communication is rhythm, and rhythm turns noise into speech. So answering our call to share in it all, we made words part of our contribution to the already syncopated comprehension found harmoniously echoing in the universe. The place I now call home is a large natural harbor, currently known as New York City. And within its boundaries, there are over 8 million of us, speaking as many as 800 languages. Being America's largest city, and perhaps the most linguistically diverse city in the world, our Big Apple is an ongoing contemporary exercise in the historic American ideology of a great melting pot. And with so many cultures and classes mixing and coexisting within 301 square miles, it's no wonder we were host to over 48 million visitors last year. And the one thing that we all agree on is everybody's got to eat. Now ideas of what, how often, and how much, they may vary, but like music, love, laughter, and change, food is a universal language. No matter where we are on the planet, or who we are, rich or poor, known or unknown, young or old, mildly idle, or wildly busy, I repeat, everybody's got to eat. And with vast world trade in this information age, many can have just about anything, from anywhere, anytime, and of late, in varying forms. See the age-old understanding that food consists solely of Mother Earth's wholesome ingredients has been challenged. Processed foods and genetically modified organisms are finding their way to our plates and our courtrooms, so deciding what to eat for dinner has become a global concern. It's like Star Trek's replicators materializing burgers, fries, and sodas in space at the push of a button. We plot to feed a detached, instant base and big appetite, which could make space not only the final frontier, but the final hope. Feed. Its meaning summons both the thing and the doing. And as is true with everything, the legacy we leave within the food chain can either align with or alter the course of the universe. Which means now we've got nothing better to do than join people like Al Gore, Michael Pollan, Ellen Gustafson, and scores of documentarians, artists, scientists, farmers, and everyday people that are communicating about what everybody's got to eat. Because then we can drum up that syncopated comprehension that will bring us closer. Closer to our Earth, to ourselves, and to each other. Though our views on fast food have evolved, the glow of those endless summer times will always be with me. Still a part of the circle and still banging. Here's Angels. You are the movies I watch as the dead dance circles with rising souls on rooftops. Beneath the summer moon, 
You are the movies I watch as the earth burns hot and the clock don't stop. Cause we know the end is coming soon. And the angels ache with jealousy for the chance to be part of our choreography. And the angels are green with envy just to be like you and me. Our blood flows in sync, running up the lane to the earth's spinning sphere. Gifted beauty's atmosphere, our love is right on time, standing next in line. of intensity, digestible matter of spirit pulse, bouncing above tangible, staggering breasts expandable, so far from here, and so close to close. And the angels ache with jealousy for the chance to be part of a choreography, and the Just to be like you and me take free range to a whole new level while reminding us how to be good neighbors. Gorilla girls got it all on the ball. Damn chickens, a finger licking good. You know the harder they come, the harder I fall. Damn chickens, a finger licking good. Curvy girls, oh my god, they're the bomb. Damn chickens, a finger licking good. Baby with back, rock me all night long.
Fuck yeah, Maxi Tit. You're a fine pack of boneless breasts and thighs united for human rights. Now Mama Earth and the Tucci Group are going to close out Earth Day by asking for the world. Because really it's high time we clean up our act, commit to a sustainable future together, and just give her some of our love. I'm getting tired of all your lying. To see you running around, it keeps me crying. Take. You'd rather run around beyond the me. I'll give you everything. All you have to do is give me some of your love. I gotta have all your love. Just give me some of your love. Oh, baby, can't you see? I've been searching for you and for me. listening and thinking of ways to make everyday Earth Day and worldwide hospitality a reality. For now from TV Dinner Theater Radio Show.